labeled Face in the Wild or shortly LFW is a de facto standard for facial recognition studies. The researchers of the University of Massachusetts collected face pairs including positive and negative samples into the dataset. Tens of state-of-the-art and cutting-edge facial recognition models already tested their models on labeled face in the wild dataset. Notice that human beings have 97.53% accuracy on this dataset. In other words, most of those state-of-the-art models already reached and passed the human level accuracy. So, in this video, we are going to build a facial recognition pipeline and test it on labeled face in the wild dataset. Scikit-learn library comes with ready to use labeled face in the wild dataset. I'm going to import it as from scikit-learn.datasets and import fetch L of W pairs. Then I'm going to call fetch L of W pairs function and it expects a subset argument. That's the default value is train, but in this experiment I'm going to pass it as test. Then let's check its other arguments. Here at color arguments, default value is false, but I want in this experiment to use colorful images that's why I'm going to set color argument to true and finally here the resize arguments default value is 0 0.5 but I'm going to set it to 1 because I want to work with raw images this function will return the labeled face in the wild data set that's why I'm going to assign its returned object to LFW variable. Here the data set has pairs attribute including the face pairs and also the data set has target attribute indicates the face pair is same person or different persons. Let's check the pairs. It's a numpy array and it consists of 1000 images and uh, this two value comes from the pair and uh, those are the pixel size of the facial pair images notice that this three value comes from the red green blue codes also let's check the targets here one indicates they are same person and zero indicates they are different persons in other words the first face pair is same person and the last face pair is different persons let's look at some samples of the pairs array for example let's mention the fourth index value and get the fourth index value of the pairs array this is going to be the pair and here let's check the content of the pair uh, numpy array it consists of two images get its first index value and it's going to be my first image and image 2 is going to be its second index value now I'm going to show this image pair but this requires import import matplotlib that plot as plt and here I'm going to call plt.imshow and test image1 then call plt.show secondly I'm going to do same procedure for the second image it shows nothing because let's check the content of the image1 its values in range of 0 and 255 but imshow function expects in scale of 0 and 1 that's why I'm going to divide it to the its maximum value this is the 4 index 
pair in our labeled face in the wild data set and it's Al Pacino. Also, let's check the targets array for the index value. It returns one. In other words, this image pair is same person based on this target value. So this one is the actual value. Let's mention it. Actual value is one. We can actually make predictions with deep face at this point. That's why I'm going to import deep face from deep face, import deep face. And here I'm going to call deep face dot verify function and pass image one and image two as inputs. This function, this verify function also expects model name and optionally pre-trained model let's mention it model name is going to be for example arc face because arc face appears in the top of the uh, list of the labeled face in the wild accuracies in the papers with code.com and it's wrapped in the deep face as well and also i'm going to pass the pre-trained model here let's create it model is going to be the face dot build model and here i'm going to pass arc face let's check the other arguments of the verify function here it has a enforced detection argument and its default value is true this actually throws an exception if face is not detected in the past images but in the lfw data set we have low resolution images that's why i'm going to set it to false and finally here the uh, uh, default detector backend is mtcnn but i'm going to use a more lightweight one which is opencv in this experiment here assign the return object of the verify function to the object variable and let's print object here this is the returned object of the deep face library and in the verified k it returned true this means that this image pair is same person that's why i'm going to get the verified k of the object variable here here this was actual you might remember that and here I'm going to get the prediction. It's going to be one if a verified k of the object variable is equal to true. Otherwise, it will return zero to the prediction. And let's ignore the printings. Now I'm not going to show the images because here I'm going to build a for loop for idx in range from 0 to uh, get pair's shape and get its uh, first value which is 1000 and uh, idx comes from the for loop and all of those logic will be uh, moved to the for loop and I'm not going to print the prediction anymore but here I'm going to define predictions and that's initial value is empty Python list and here I'm going to append the current prediction into the predictions list this for loop will last for a while that's why I'm going to import Takadum library import takadum and here takadum dot takadum and it will show the uh, processing type of this loop and let's run it processing is over and it's handled in almost four minutes to process 1000 items with deep face now we have the predictions as the python list to evaluate the Moodle I'm going to import from 
scikit-learn.matrix and import classification report then here I'm going to call classification report and it expects actual values first then it expects predictions and predictions are stored in the predictions variable run this block and I forgot to print so classification report says that there are 500 negative pairs and 500 positive pairs and the uh, overall accuracy of the artface model is 93 percent and uh, precision and recall values seem stable as well so we have built a facial recognition pipeline with deep face library for python and we have used arc face facial recognition model and also test the build model on labeled face in the white data set if you enjoyed the video please like it and do not forget to subscribe to the channel thank you for your all support in advance and finally thank you all for watching and see you next time